Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Motivation. I'm back with another video for you guys. I'm back with another mukbang. Today we are going to be having a noodle bowl. And we have some noodles, some sausage, potatoes, egg, and a corn. That's what we have. We have some coffee because it is morning and I didn't want no breakfast. I wanted a noodle bowl. Excuse the way I look because I'm not completely out of the way dressed, but I want to be presentable. How is everybody doing? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy belated Valentine's Day to those that I didn't get a chance to say it to yesterday. Happy Valentine's Day. God bless you. I hope you guys had a beautiful uh, day on yesterday. Enjoying your family, friends, loved ones, your booze, your husband, your boyfriends, whatever. I hope you guys had fun. And uh, I'm back. I'm going to first do, uh, let's say grace first. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you for blessing me and live to see a brand new day. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my friends. I thank you for my neighbors. I just thank you for all of your peoples, God. I thank you for even my subscribers. And I ask that you bless us all according to your will, grace, and mercy. I ask that you bless this food. Let it be a nourishment for mind, body, soul, and spirit. Also, let it be a help to my weight loss and not a hindrance. Take out any defilement so I won't interfere with anything going on inside of my body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So, first, what I want to do is I got my glasses. I want to do a new glass reveal. If I can open it up. These are the reading glasses. I can wear them every day or they could be for reading. But because I didn't get no transition in them, no kind of tint, they're just strictly for reading. I hope you guys like See that purple? I'm trying to get my face out so I can pick them up. The details on the side. They dirty. I had these on last week. Oh, man, y'all to my somebody could see good. Ooh. I got them. They're right. They are so cute to me. I love them. Glad to have them. So those are those. And these are my heart. I specifically picked out these. Just how I want them. Let me clean them. I got to clean the thing, but Hey, why not clean them here before I put them on my face? What you guys think? These are Sean John. Oh, these are my most expensive pair ever. I see the little details on the side here. The little diamonds on the side. You know, the camera want to pick up my face. I'm trying to make sure you guys. They are so pretty. I like the black and then the clear down here. Yeah, I love these. What y'all think? I finally got my new glasses, y'all. I am so excited. John, John. These literally are the most expensive glasses I ever paid for. The other one was a pretty penny. It was like 109, but these right here, these, they was 379. That's expensive. But I wanted me some good glasses, good quality, and the eye doctor was phenomenal. Let's take a bite of this. I got noodles, potatoes, corn, or egg. I got one corn, one egg, some potatoes. I put the potatoes in here because the baby's over there asleep. He loved potatoes. I did not know it. Um, and some sausages. I 
I be trying not to wake him up, but as soon as I move, he start moving. That's what he doing now. As soon as I move, he get to move. When I get up out of the bed, he ain't gonna be there long. <laughs> But I'm just enjoying spending time with him, loving on him, knowing that he's treated right, knowing that he's being fed and just taken care of. It makes me feel so good because I just don't want nobody to mistreat him because one thing I know, he's not that kind of child that you leave. He is not the kind of child that you can leave with anybody. But one thing he's spoiled, he is spoiled. I know they teach us don't say kids are spoiled, even in my training of being educated to be a teacher. But he is spoiled. Plus, he's the only child. He's very demanding, want to get his way. If he can't get his way, he will holler forever. And he have temper tangents. He'll throw stuff. He'll hit you. And I just feel like he need to be with his granny. Because his granny is not going to mistreat him. His granny is going to make him do right. I want to lose my egg down in this juice. I only did one idiot. So what did you guys do yesterday? I saw you, TG, TCG fam. I saw what you and Big Boo do. Happy Valentine's Day to both of y'all, Big Bear Boo Boo. And even to Layla and G-Force Journey, Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys. Hmm. My Valentine was a blessed day. Sorry about that. I had to let that food go down all the way before I put anything else in my mouth. Because if I wouldn't, this would have been over with right now. So my Valentine's Day was blessed. I just enjoyed it. I didn't do nothing special. I didn't spend no time with nobody special. I was just chilling here. Well, I was with somebody special. as always my granddaughter and my great grandson. But no, I didn't do anything special. I just enjoyed the day, enjoyed life. I thank God for life. I thank God for his love. I thank God for his grace and mercy. I just thank God for everything that he is in my life. <clears throat> I really do. That coffee is hot, hot. Y'all can't see the steam coming up. Can y'all see that? I can see it. I can see it. It's hot. So, yeah. Yesterday was great. Oh, and I went to my pain management doctor yesterday. I wanted to keep you guys up with that. I finally went to the pain management. I told y'all I had went to one. I didn't like that one. So, I got switched to another one. And this doctor was amazing. She was so lovely. And, uh, I love her. I love her. I love how she talks to you, how she interacts with you as a as her uh, patient. I love it. I really did. And uh, so I had to do some tests yesterday. She gave me some medicine, which I really don't think I'm going to take it because I didn't. I don't know why. 
I even went to a pain management center because you know they try to give you narcotics. So, he prescribed me some tramadol. Now, I know I'm not going to take it. I've been taking gabapentin and flexoreal, the muscle relaxer, and I think I'm going to stick with that. I just don't want to do any addictive medicine. I don't do drugs, no alcohol, no smoke, nothing. And I just really want to keep my body pure. But I just want to find other ways to cope with the pain. So, because I have so much sciatica pain in my hip and so much arthritis in the, the joint of my hip and the right side of my body is just full of arthritis for some reason and then my spine i look my spine is so now they trying to see if i have gout because i know I, I don't really hurt nowhere but my um my my right hip and that joint in the groin area my right hip my back hurts Sometimes when I do too much, sometimes, but it don't really bother me like it used to bother me years ago. It just got better. As I lost more weight, it got better and better. And that's why I'm working on my weight instead of trying to lose weight. I don't care what y'all see me eat, baby. I don't eat a lot, and I only eat one meal a day. So, this should be breakfast. But... I want them to come on here and eat with you guys and give you guys a video because that's a, I didn't get a chance to. And I know it's going to kind of be hard to do that, so I'm going to have to force myself to do videos whenever I get a chance because now I choose to start back babysitting my great-grandson because I want him to be taken care of. I want him to be loved. I want him to be nourished. I want him to be treated right. I want him to have a chance at life. I want him to know what it feels like to be loved unconditionally. So, I squeeze video in here and there. Even if I have to have him in there, it's okay. Most of the time, like y'all saw on the other video, when I'm doing videos, he mostly sit down on the floor and play or climb up on the bed to try to go over there and play with that lamp. He liked that lamp that's on the other side of my bed. It got a pull string on it. Instead of twisting it, to turn it on, he pulled the thing and he loved it. So all of y'all had kids, I'm sure, our grandkids, or nieces or nephews of some sorts or little cousins that you love so much, and y'all had to discipline them, yelling at them or something, you know, to make him make them listen to your words, and that's what I try to do. I want to teach him, I'm trying to teach him to listen to words, and I'm trying to teach him also to use his indoor voices and stuff instead of when he can't get something, he go to screaming, no, no, bring it down, stop, use your indoor voice, use your words, tell me what you want, you know, so, yeah. so far, but he's only, he'll be two in March, but right now I'm trying to teach him. Because now he's getting ready to go into that potty training season. So I'm going to teach him. To use his words. And I want his mom to know. That I love her. And I am her support system. See a lot of days. Nowadays, a lot of young people don't have that support system, period, no matter where. You know, they just don't have it. But when I had my, was having my children, even though I got married, when I had my second baby, I got married uh, right before I had her. And I was married out, you know, 
can see that it's pretty much grown. But even though I had my first child at 15, my mom was my support. My mom, my grandmother, my aunties, uncles, cousins, they were, we was there for each other. My sisters and brothers, we was there. I had my son when I was 15. I went to job corp when he went, when I, I went to jobs corps when he was one year old. My oldest brother took care of my son, took care of my meaning. The only thing he did that I disliked was my son had very long hair and I kept it braided. He didn't want to comb it. So he decided eventually after I had been in job club about five, six months to cut my son's hair. That's the only thing I didn't like. But other than that, I had a great support system. And I see that my grandchildren don't. When I had my kids, I was at home. I, of course, I have went out and stuff like that, but my sister's always babysitted. My my baby sister, Joyce, I could take my children to her any time of the day and night, and she would never do nothing but welcome them with love, kissing on them, spoiling them right. You know, my family is very close-knit. We was raised, brought up and raised like that. And I raised my daughter and my son like that, but my daughter... She ain't ready to be a grandmother. She's not. When when my children had their first child, baby, them was my children. Them were granny babies. Mm hmm. When my children had their first kids, they both of them lived with me. Both of them. My daughter's twins, she had two girls as her first kids. I got those girls when they was three and a half years old. I had them until they was almost 14. And I finally gave them to my daughter and her husband. When my son... Don't follow, man. When my uh, when my son had his first child, she straight lived with me. She lived with me. When I was in, in Dallas. She lived with me in right here in Wisconsin. She did. The only one of my kids that I don't have a close, 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 close relationship to, and I love them because I did as long as my son was alive. I had a good relationship with my grandkids by my son. The parents, the mothers, stopped letting the kids have anything to do with us. And I tried to fight it, reached out, reached out, reached out, until I said, you know, I'm not doing it anymore. They know me. My grandkids are all big, big teenagers and stuff now. So they reach out to me. When they want me, they reach out to me. And I'm here for them, and they know it. My one grandson just reached out to me yesterday for mine. But if I got it, I'm going to give it to him. I love him. But I would not teach their moms behind to have a relationship with my own grandkids, which there was no problem with me having a relationship with them when my son was alive. But that's how it is. When when somebody dies, people forget about them. And the Bible tells us that. I've read it in the Bible. It says when you die, you become a vapor. They, you are vaguely remembered. You become a memory of if that. So, um, you know, I'm always going to... Uh, remember my son and love him and grieve him because that was my only son and my oldest child. I consider it that me and that boy grew up together. Like I said, I had him when I was 15. I was going to be 16 years old in September. I was going to be 16, September 14, and he was born on September 1st. So I didn't make it to 16, but I was right there. And 
and I looked at it as if we grew up together. I was learning how to be a mother and learning how to care and nurture a child at the same time. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is good. I think I made a good choice eating this this morning. This is so good. Mm. The noodles are so good. When my grandbaby wake up, he's going to be wrong this. It should be cooled out then because he liked the potatoes and the corn. Mm, it's very hot. Mm. Yesterday, my granddaughter made us a seafood boy. That's why I got this leftover corn, potatoes, and sausage. And I saw it in the refrigerator and I said, let me just do a new bar because this won't go to waste. But you guys know that I don't eat a lot, so I'm going to have to figure out something with this. I know my grandbaby would probably eat the corn and the potatoes out of here. Don't fall. But he ain't gonna eat nothing else out there. The noodles are so good. I like my noodles very, very done. So they're very soft. Very easy to go down. If they don't be soft, soft like this, I would never be able to eat them. I mean, I think I'm done. I just want to talk with you guys. But I want to keep this one for the grandbaby. Let me get a bite of sausage before we go out the door. I hope y'all enjoying the ambience back here. I love that blue fire. And I hope y'all had a great day again. Let's see what the daily bread is saying today. Let's see. Today is February. Today is the 15th. I think I got a doctor's appointment on it. The 20th, I think. The daily devotion is God's wise purposes, and it is coming from Psalms 13. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long, Lord, will you? Forget me forever. That's Psalms 13, 1. And it says, the United Kingdom brims in history. Everywhere you go, you see plaques honoring historic figures are comm commemorating sites where important events occurred. 
but one such sign exemplifies the, the droll British sense of humor. On a weathered plaque outside a bed and breakfast in Sandwich, England, a message reads, on this site, September 5th, 1782, nothing happened. Sometimes it seems to us that nothing is happening regarding our prayers. We pray and pray, bring our petitions to our Father with expectation that he'll respond right now. That's how it is. We want God to respond right now. Sometimes sometime God have to put up, God put us in a timeout. So it said with expectation, we pray and we pray, bring our petition to our Father with expectation that he'll respond right now. The psalmist David expressed us frustrating when he prayed. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me, God? We can easily echo these same thoughts. How long, Lord, before you respond to my prayer? How long, Lord? However, our God is not only perfect in his wisdom, but also in his timing. God is perfect in his timing. David was able to say, I trust in your unique, unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 11 reminds us God has made everything beautiful in his time. The word beautiful means appropriate. Hey Amen. Our source of, it means appropriate or a source of delight. God may not always respond to our prayers when we would like him to, but he always working out his wise purposes. We can take heart that when he does answer it, it will be right and good and beautiful. When have you prayed for something and felt that perhaps God was ignoring you or ignoring your request? What lesson might you have learned in that time of waiting? I have asked God for something, and I think that I, I got impatient. Come here, man. Ace. AC, come here. Come on. Let's put some cover on you. I know your little legs might be a little chilly. Legs a little chilly. Handle a little cold, Granny. So, I know I have asked God for something, and I know that he, uh, it seemed like he took his time or that he just wasn't going to give me an answer. But I learned uh, through the Holy Spirit speaking to me to let me know that uh, sometime that he let me know that a uh, prayer delayed was not a prayer denied. And even when he let me know that he gave me a message, and I brought that message before, a prayer delayed. Is not a prayer denied. It just means that God is working some things out. He put maybe He put you in time out, but it don't mean that He denied your prayer, okay? Or He denied your request. It just means that it might be something up ahead in the road that He need to smooth out or take some bumps out to make sure that you get where you need to go without being hurt, harmed, or danger. So don't think of it as a prayer delayed. It's a prayer denied because it's not so. We have to stop being microwavable peoples when it comes to God because God don't operate on microwave. You know, he don't operate on our time. It's all about his timing. Okay? I just wanted to leave that word with you guys. Listen, um, it say loving God, please help me to learn a patience and prayer born of trust in you. Okay, and then it said that you can, um, if you want to read the whole entire Psalms 13, you'll get a better understanding. But that is the devotion for the day. I decided to do it out of the book. It is, uh, the devotion title is God's Wise Purposes. And it's coming from Psalms, one, Psalms 13. Psalms 13, okay, God's Wise 
purposes for your life. And remember, I want you guys to remember that just because your um just because your prayers are not answered instantaneously. It does not mean that God have denied your request, your petition, or your prayer. It just means that it's, it's not his timing. When God timing, when God's will is done, everything will happen when he wanted to happen. We have to just ask God for patience so that we may be able to persevere, okay? I hope you guys had a blessed Valentine's Day. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about my new eyeglasses. I'm so super excited to have my glasses. These are the glasses that will be in my purse that will go everywhere I go. And the other one are strictly for reading. Uh, I can wear them every day because they got the same prescription in that's in these. The only thing is they don't have the tint. But these glasses right here are transitioning lens. Like I have... Um, glare problems like when it's raining if i'm driving the glare will completely blind me from the corners of my eyes and then uh if it's snow like right now it's snowing out, outside here in wisconsin and uh, if i was driving i couldn't stand that the, the glare from the white snow blinds me um and so yeah in the sun so that's what these glasses is for they are more like um shades glasses and transitioning lens to block out certain uh, certain objects and glare and uh, stuff in the corner of my eyes. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. God bless. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like, share. Go join me on all of my other platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, all under the same name, Miss Global Motivation. My Facebook page is Gloria Goodvine. And then I have a Facebook fan page, Miss Global and the Motivators. So go follow me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment. As always, you know that I love you, but God love you more. And remember that we are all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace be with you all and have a blessed, blessed day. God bless. See you in the next video. Bye.